the governor says veterans who deserve the best from the state got exactly the opposite. He called it an abject failure of leadership. A scathing independent report finding substantial errors and failures at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. The review after nearly 80 COVID-19 deaths at the home called decisions made by leaders there utterly baffling from an infection control perspective. The subject matter and details of this report are nothing short of gut wrenching. The report zeroes in on what it calls the lack of leadership by the home superintendent Bennett Walsh. It found the worst decision made was to combine two locked dementia units into one, placing veterans with COVID-19 in the same space as veterans without it. One nurse called it total pandemonium. A social worker says she felt it was like moving the concentration camp. We were moving these unknowing veterans off to die. Errors in judgment were made before the pandemic began in anticipation of the pandemic and once the pandemic landed. The report points out Mr. Walsh was not qualified to manage a long-term care facility and his shortcomings were well known to the Department of Veterans Services, yet the agency failed to effectively oversee the home during his tenure. Veterans the Affairs office, Secretary Francisco Urena was asked to resign and has. The administration is moving to fire Walsh. The governor saying his administration failed. The report makes clear that the Department of Veterans Services, which oversees the soldiers' homes, um, didn't properly oversee Holyoke or Bennett Walsh, and that one's on us. And the governor, the home has a board that is appointed, rather, by the governor. The governor expects to detail changes, including possible legislation, tomorrow. We are live here in Boston. Charmin's Kitty, WCVB News Center 5.